my name is Julie Meyer, and I'm from the International House of Prayer in Kansas City, Missouri. And I want to talk to you just for a couple minutes on letting go of offense, because I'm seeing that arising a lot now, even amongst you know wonderful believers, and even amongst some of my family and my friends. And I'm I'm fighting for freedom. Uh, th there's there's a couple things about offense. Number one, offense will never let go of you. You have to let go of it. It will never let you go. And offense is one of those things where you actually feel like you have a right to be offended because somebody really did something unjustly to you. And you think, I can't believe they did that to me. And we get this little sting of offense. But the thing about offense is it begins to brew and brew, and it's like a, a, st a, a splinter that, that gets in the midst of our soul, and it gets uh, infected, and that offense, it turns to bitterness, and that bitterness, it turns to anger, and that anger, it turns to rage, and literally, we're one year or two years or five years down the road, it can become a root issue in your life that, that, that takes hold of you and will not let you go. And the key to uh, offense is, um, is just you, you got to let it go. You have to be the one to make the choice. And I, I even think of, of Jesus. I mean, I even think of when Jesus talks about, you know, forgiveness and he says, you know, forgive, you know, 70 times 7. And I think of the Lord's Prayer where it says, forgive us our trespasses. Uh, you know, I mean, and, and I think about Matthew uh, ver, or chapter 6, verses 14 and 15. But if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But this is scary. But if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. And I think of all that Jesus did for me, and I am so thankful, I am so grateful to him because he paid the ultimate price for what I did, my sin. And I, I put that into you know, my heart, into my mind, and I really believe that we are in a season where the Lord is coming soon. Draw near to the Lord while He is near. And the Lord is drawing near that His body, that His bride would walk in total freedom of offense. And this is how offense works. What you have to simply, it does not start with a feeling. It starts just like this. Lord, I just ask, I just, I, the, the person that, that hurt my heart, the person that did this to me, right now I am making a choice to forgive them. I am making a conscious choice to forgive them. And when you pray that tiny prayer, it might be a battle for a month, maybe two months, maybe three months. But every time you think of that person, person you need to go back and say, no, I choose to forgive. I choose to forgive. I choose to forgive. And in that choice of forgiveness is when the Lord, he will visit you with like a wave, like a wave, like a, a huge wave from heaven, a wave, wave of supernatural forgiveness where he takes that sting of offense away. And I tell you, beloved, that we are in a season now where God, he is raising up a spotless wrinkle-free, unoffended bride that shines throughout all the earth. And we cannot be that shining bride if we're offended. And it's the quickest way the enemy can get into our life right now and just remind us what someone did to us. And we have to think higher than, think higher than, no, 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 this is what Jesus did for me. I choose to forgive. And I want to just pray right now because I believe that the Lord is going to touch you. And if you are listening to me right now and you're saying, oh my gosh, I know exactly who I need to forgive. I know exactly who I need to forgive so that that offense can get broken in my life. I believe that God is going to touch you. And Lord, I just ask for everyone watching right now, I just ask right now, we just come before you and we just say, I forgive them. I forgive that person. I forgive that family member. I forgive that friend that, that stung me. 
And I ask Jesus that you would come in, that you would help me to walk out forgiveness, to walk out unoffendedness, Jesus, that I would be free from offense and anger. Uh, and I ask, Lord, I pray a blessing upon this person. I pray a blessing on everyone, God, that I feel that I'm harboring in my heart right now that has hurt me. And I choose to let him go in the name of Jesus. And I pray this in Jesus' name, amen. And I want to encourage you in this journey. It is not a battle that is won in a day. But when you feel that thought come in your heart, remember what that person did to you. You've got to choose the higher. Remember what Jesus Christ did for me. Because God wants to free his beautiful bride from offense and this is your season to get free remember offense will never let go of you you have to let go of it and when you do the freedom that Jesus died for will come and invade your soul like a crashing wave from heaven and that is the word of the Lord for you